Welcome to Where the American West Meets College Education. I'm Bonnie McDonald, Professor of American and Western American Literature at West Texas A&M University. And here at the Double E Ranch, a 30,000 acre working cattle ranch high in the mountains of southwestern New Mexico, I direct, organize, and teach college credit courses on the history, literature, and traditions of the American Ranching West. Students study the culture of arid western ranch lands. During credit-bearing courses offered during winter break and during the summer, students live, work, and study on the ranch and their days are full. Formal class meets each and every morning with discussion of assigned books and our readings include works from California to Texas and New Mexico to Montana and Wyoming. We read exploration literature by Lewis and Clark, John Wesley Powell and John Muir, historical texts by Frederick Jackson Turner, Walter Prescott Webb, J. Frank Doby, Donald Worcester, Patty Limerick, and Richard White. We also may include ranching and environmental perspectives from Nathan Sayer, Dan Daggett and Jay Dussard, Richard Knight, Wendell Berry, Wes Jackson, and Linda Hasselstrom. And we conclude with fiction and memoir by Will James, selections from Wallace Stegner, William Kittredge, Pam Houston, Gretel Ehrlich, Mark Sprague, and Willard Wyman. And along the way, we explore Spanish and Anglo traditions in land use and policy, work our way through the consequences of the Homestead Act and the Taylor Grazing Act, study ranching practices in the Southwest, and explore the traditions of Native populations in the area. I took this class because I had just taken American Western film with Bonnie. I wanted the real experience. We like everything for a different reason, and everything that you do, you kind of find a way to throw yourself into it, whether it's barrel racing or penning, or you're out on the trail and you've got 14 cattle and you all have to figure out how to talk to each other and get done what you're trying to get done. It's all so different, but it's all towards the same end goal. When Thoreau wrote in Walden, my head is hands and feet, he said something important about how intellectual work and manual labor can be united. Hard work and the satisfaction that comes from working with large animals should be connected to the world of the muse, to the world of books, ideas, and art. In these college classes, we aim for exactly that kind of seamless experience. There is hardly a moment when we aren't thinking about Western issues and hardly a moment when we aren't socially engaged or diving into some kind of shared labor. These classes offer a seamless experience off the beaten path where intellectual rigor, manual labor, and new friendships can happen all over. The history of the West describes processes of adaptation and rebirth. It tells of adjustments to an arid geography, newly created social structures, hard work, and new ideas born of that adaptive experience. And with pens, pitchforks, and a lot of heart, that's exactly what happens for these students.